Hey guys, I'm Uncle T. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to get started on an indoor adventure today. We are going to customize this kayak and get it lake ready. It's a great boat. It's a shadow caster by Field and Stream, produced by Joy Sports. Lots of amenities. Great deal for the money. Um, but, you know, not quite lake ready. So we're going to have a good time with it. I thought you guys might like to come along. So let's get started. There's been a lot of videos made about this boat, so I'm going to keep it pretty quick. Molded handles, fore and aft, uh, twist open hatch, lots of space in there because it's a massive boat. Probably the most boat you're going to find for the buck. Uh, these paddle holders leave a lot to be desired. It's not molded very well. It doesn't really work. We're going to address that. Then you've got 32 inch long tracks for your rim out, Scotty track stuff. Uh, these are great. This is a great idea. Twist it, slide it up slide it back so you can actually adjust the foot pegs while you're sitting down it feels a little flimsy in years to come i hope they improve on this and just beef it up but it's a great idea you got a strap to pull yourself up out of the seat this is your standing deck uh, there are scupper holes under this deck and these channels drain all the water so i'm assuming it's not going to really have any standing water on it um, it seems a little odd um, but on the water i'm sure it'll be fine because it won't be resistant from the ground you know, you got your little spaces here for junk. And this seat's pretty cool. Um, typical, like, feel free style or send style. You know, goes down, goes up, goes all the way up. So you can stand up. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but you get the picture. Looks comfy as hell. Can't wait. And back storage, tons of storage. And it's got this molded crate situation, but I've never seen a crate that big. So <laughs> I'm going to find like a hopper style box that goes in there. These bungees do not disconnect anywhere, and I hate that. So I'll probably replace one of these with more of a hook than an eye. I never use these, but, uh, you know, you never know. Throw your landing net or uh, phone or some crap on there. You're supposed to hook your rod so it doesn't fly out, but I've never had that issue. And then there's the keel. So uh, Joy Sports is the same company that makes feel-free kayaks, and they have the wheel and the keel that they're famous for. So this has a spot for something like that. It's just like a chunk of plastic that's riveted in there. Um, it's easily removed. I guess if you scuff it up, you could replace it. But, you know, if you scuff it up, you're going to scuff up your keel. So I'm not sure what they were thinking there. Um, maybe you could stick some kind of a rudder in there. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to work on that. But first, we're going to get this thing lake ready. So let's get started with that. All right, guys, quick rundown of everything we're going to be putting on the new kayak. First off, we've got the X-Wing console. It's made by Malibu for Malibu kayaks, so it's a little thin for our boat. But we're going to make it work because it's just so freaking cool. It's got this deck hatch here on the side, so your battery can live in here and run our depth finder, maybe some auxiliary power, maybe a navigation by light up front, we'll rock some switches, whatever, man, it's going to be fun. Then we've got the transducer mount uh, by Scotty. That is really cool because our transducer is going to live outside of the hull. I love that because you can play with the placement on it. Um, it's not gooped into your hull. You can actually move it from boat to boat if you want. And we're going to be mounting that to the rail system with one of these gearhead track adapters. So we can move it up and down, left, right, port, starboard. Uh, that should be really cool. And also, we've got the tried and true Scotty rod holders. I've got one of these for my fly rod also. Um, these can go into the track adapters, or I'm also thinking about putting some mounts here on the console. So that's going to be cool. Then we've got the Elite 3X depth finder. Um, I love this depth finder. I've used one before. Bluebird skies, polarized sunglasses, you can still see that screen, no problem, perfect for a kayak. Then we've got the Propel Paddle Gear Paddle Stabilizers. Um, it's just got a bungee on the boat that holds the paddle into kind of a crease in the hull, and I don't care for it, it doesn't work, so we're going to beef it up with these guys. We're going to mount those to the hull using these Scotty Well Nuts. I really like these. They're a little spendy. They're probably like almost two bucks a piece, basically. It's like seven dollars for the pack. So it's about a buck seventy-five a piece. But they are reusable. Uh, basically, you know, drill your hole, put it in there, and then once you tighten down, it actually compresses and seals from any kind of leakage. So again, we're not having to use any kind of goop or anything. Really cool. 
Then I went ahead and scored these yak grips. Um, if you've ever fished with wearing gloves, uh, treble hooks, any kind of hook just gets stuck in there. It's a total pain in the ass. So I'm going to check these out because I don't like wearing gloves and my next trip is going to be three days long and I would like my hands to be smooth and kissable at the end of it. Then you've got this uh, kayak dolly by TMS. It's from TMS Warehouse. I was skeptical because it was only $40, but I had some points wrapped up and I figured what the hell, we'll give it a shot. So far I'm actually impressed. You know, it's anodized aluminum. Um, these rubber bits are molded really well. They're actually really solid. Um, these uh, TIG welds here look great. And the wheels are actually a lot chunkier than they look. You know, they're like big old lawnmower wheels. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, let's get all this stuff in the shadow caster. Oh, quick bit of trivia. Shadow casting is the casting style of Brad Pitt's character in the film A River Runs Through It, which actually is what got me into fly fishing. I'm ashamed to admit that, but it's the truth. Now it's out there. Let's go work on our boat. Alright, so I took the Malibu rails and mitered them nice and clean, used the original holes that came in the Malibu rail and the original holes that are in the kayak. So I have yet to drill into this kayak and that's mounted in there really well on both sides. Um, obviously it doesn't have room to move, but that's fine, that's exactly where I want it. Um, I don't really see any reason for the whole sliding back and forth gig. And I have cut the original track rails. Um, I've got to clean that up and then we're going to take these bushings and reinsert them into the back here and in the front and those will go right back in its original holes and when that bushing's on the tip there you'll see that'll be all real clean and nice and uh, we can still utilize this for rod holders and such. So I'm pretty happy so far but it is getting close to noon. I've got to get to the tattoo shop. I've got a bunch of folks waiting and we'll get back on this tonight. See you then. Okay hey guys, here she is all buttoned up. Got our console installed with rod holder, depth finder, battery, and all the cables are wrapped up in there. Got her transducer with the cable all coming up nice and clean, and I actually just tucked it right into the console right there. Wired it all the way through. Then our dolly, ready to go. And our paddle holders, ready to rock. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the water.